March Madness is here and it's made its way to Providence. And this time it's on the ice. Matt Paddock is outside the amp with how local businesses are reaping the benefits. Matt. Well, thousands from across the country are here in Providence trying some of the best spots in Rhode Island. And as we've learned, it's not just hockey driving business. You can hear it now. This is it. This is the big show. The capital city is alive and thriving as fans from all walks of life taking to the amp for the first round of the men's hockey NCAA tournament. Now hockey's the baddest sport there is. Let's celebrate. I told my grandfather, this is the busiest place I've ever seen. <laughs> seems like every week we're preparing for something else. Which for restaurants and bars by the Amp Lake Murphy's Pub is coming at what co-owner Louis Ferrazano calls the perfect time. Too, so obviously that's a huge impact on us, especially coming into the, the summer where uh, the city kind of slows down, everyone goes to the beaches in Narragansett. But it's not just slap shots and sellies on the ice driving thousands to the capital city. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I live in Nashville, Tennessee. Over 95 teams and 1,300 athletes competing at the convention center this weekend for a national cheer competition. And for Alicia Palmer and Brooklyn Freitag, they're taking no time in immersing themselves into Ocean State culture. First thing I did when I got to Providence was get some fresh seafood. Of course, oh, yes. it was amazing. The oysters, well, chef's kiss. Well, being from a flyover state, um, I love the architecture. It's so different. It's Everything is older and has more history here. Um, I love it. I think it's awesome. The last game of the Providence Regional Tournament will be on Sunday at 4 o'clock when reigning champion Quinnipiac will take on Boston College at 4. Reporting live in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.